welcome to the show. Today's show is full of last minute ideas to help you cover your bases this holiday season. First up, we're gonna be making something you usually just pick up at the grocery store in the freezer section, but I promise, if you're feeling like making it yourself, it is so worth it. We're making two of my very favorite things, and that is shrimp cocktail and dips. Listen, we had a rule in my house growing up, and if there was like a shrimp ring, my brother and I were not allowed to go near it until everyone had had one, because we would just stand next to it and eat all of the shrimp. Um, so this is like adult Mary getting to live that childhood dream, and I can eat as many shrimp as I want because I'm an adult now, which is very exciting. So the first thing I wanna do is show you how to cook up some beautiful shrimp. It totally makes a difference. Yes, a frozen shrimp cocktail is always good, but cooking them yourselves gives you so much flavor. So to build that flavor, I've got four cups of water in this pot, and that's come to a boil. Now, four cups is important because we're actually gonna season that water, and that's what's gonna season those shrimp. So this is how you get the nice like seasoning ratio in there. So the first thing I need, stay with me, is three tablespoons of salt. <laughs> but don't worry, most of that salt going down the drain. It's not going into those shrimp. That's just gonna season them, because as they cook, just a little bit of that water is gonna get kind of absorbed into there. So three tablespoons of salt go right on into there. And now this is kind of strange, but I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of sugar. It's not gonna make them taste sweet. It's just gonna give them a really nice kind of seasoning situation. So two tablespoons of sugar go right on in there. And then for a little bit of extra seasoning, I like to add in celery salt. If anybody's like a Caesar haver this time of year, you've got some celery salt in your pantry. Just two teaspoons of that into here is gonna bring a nice kind of herbiness into that mixture. It's gonna be really, really nice. Now into there, I also wanna add something bright. So I've got a lemon here that I've just cut in half and I'm gonna add in the juice of both halves straight on into that pot. We can tell I'm right hand dominant because I cannot squeeze in my left hand. And I'm actually gonna add all of those rinds right on in. Just the whole peel and everything, that's gonna bring a little bit of extra brightness, a little bit of like grown up flavor, and it's gonna be amazing. Now, for the shrimp, I've got 450 grams of shell on deveined shrimp. And I like to buy what is on the package as 21 to 25. That's actually telling you the size of the shrimp. So essentially you're gonna get around 21 to 25 shrimp per pound. So that's a perfect size for shrimp cocktail. That's like, when you see ones that's like 46, those are the little baby shrimp. They're delicious, not great for shrimp cocktail. So I'm gonna add these babies right on into this pot and shrimp cook up super quick. That is only gonna take about one and a half to two minutes. You just wanna cook them until they're pink and plump. So while those do their thing, I'm gonna get to work on that first sauce. So the first sauce is a classic cocktail sauce. For that, you need half a cup a ketchup, I love ketchup. My mom made mac and cheese last night and I ate a lot of ketchup last night. It was a very good thing. So just about, we're almost to the end of the bottle. Clearly we really like ketchup on this show. Half a cup of ketchup into the bowl and then we're gonna season that up. So the first thing I need is three or two to three tablespoons of prepared horseradish. This is really nice and vinegary. It's bright, it's a little peppery. All radishes have a little bit of heat to them and horseradish definitely does. I like mine nice and spicy, so I'm going for three of those tablespoons. Now I'm also gonna add in the zest and juice of half of a lemon. So just add that on in. If you just wanted the zest, that would be delicious too. The juice brings a little bit of brightness, but the zest gives you that like classic lemon in flavor without like too much of a hit. And that half of a juice is just gonna brighten everything up and make it a little bit more saucy. So add that on in too. And then the classic flavoring, a little bit of this stuff. It's Worcester, Worcestershire. <laughs> this one, you know it, it's in your pantry for sure. I'm gonna add in just about a teaspoon or two of that. That's gonna give really nice kind of round umami flavor. And then I like a little bit of heat. So I'm going in with the classic like vinegary, this, this hot sauce, you know the hot sauce. Add that in, just a few dashes, looking good. Season that up with a little bit of salt. You can go in with pepper too. Give that a mix up. And that is a classic cocktail sauce all done. It looks beautiful. You see those little flecks of that horseradish in there. So good. Very exciting. Now over here, we have got these shrimp and they are 
perfect. They are pink, they are plump. So I've just got a little, this is called a spider for anybody knowing, it's not spooky, it's just a spider. Uh, you could also use a fine mesh sieve, but anytime you're cooking shrimp, you wanna stop that process immediately. So just grab those out of that hot water and pop them into an ice bath. That's gonna halt that cooking process, give you nice, plump, beautiful shrimp, and they're gonna be absolutely delicious. So you can strain them or do it just like this. Pop those babies in. Once those are cooled completely, dry them off, and you got some delicious shrimp on your hands. Now, really quickly, I'm gonna show you another sauce because I can never say no to sauce. So, the first thing I need for this one is I'm basically making like an aioli. So I need four cloves of garlic. <laughs> We're inviting good friends over, so you're allowed to give them raw garlic because you're cool if they got garlic breath. Now into there, I'm also gonna add in the juice of half of a lemon, so the other half of that lemon is perfect. And this is gonna kind of pull back on that like spicy garlic flavor. It's almost gonna pickle it. Now did I get pips in there? Yes, but I'll pick around them. You watch out for those. Now for the creaminess, I need about half a cup of mayonnaise. Just pop that on in. For a little bit of brightness, a little bit of Dijon, just about half a teaspoon is perfect. Give that a mix up. And then I want some herbs in there as well. So for the herbs, I'm gonna add in some parsley, some chives, because I love a chive, and then you can also do a bit of tarragon if you're feeling like it, but any sort of fine herbs. Steer clear of like rosemary. That's gonna be a little bit too woody. Shrimp are really delicate, so I'm just gonna pop that in. You want about a quarter cup of those. Give that a stir. And then, my friends, you've got shrimp cocktail. Because... <laughs> and go very Myra Berg, you gotta get a martini glass that has never seen gin or vodka. It is only made for shrimp cocktail. Pop a little bit of that sauce right on in, obviously lined with a lettuce leaf. To again, go pure Myra Berg on Christmas day. Maybe a little bit of that cocktail sauce in this one. And then this is how you serve. This is how you feel like a businessman in the 80s. <laughs> you put a little bit of those shrimps right on the outside of that martini glass. Serve that up and everyone's gonna be like, have you lost it? And you'll be like, no, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, I love shrimp so much. Those look so retro and cute. <laughs> Out of control, I cannot wait. Oh, that must be one of my neighbors, come on in. drop by with a little something for you. Oh, but just for, you just bought something just for me? No, 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 no. It's for the whole audience! <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Jess, I'm so excited. Okay, so both of our partners are bearded gentlemen. This is true, kind of reminds me of uh, this little fella. Yeah, this one. Right little, here, yeah, right what a, here. What a dream boat, hey? Yeah, he's uh, stunning. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Mm, hubba hubba. So what would you suggest for a guy that kind of looks like this? There's only one option, and that is a Phillips One Blade! Oh, yeah! You, got you can use this wet or dry, and it has an innovative 360 blade that can do it all. It trims, it edges, and it shaves any length of hair with just a few strokes. Ooh. Anywhere. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. You okay. never know. It could come in handy right now. Oh, jeezy, Louise. <laughs> all right. And, and that's not all, Mary. Of course it isn't. If you're always wondering, what are the top toys this year? Yeah. Well, you're all going home with a $100 Toy to Us gift card. Yes, that's amazing. <laughs> we all know it. Toys to Us has some of the best offers that kids love. And I didn't know this. But Toys R Us will price match everything in the toy book until December 24th. That's big, that's big savings. Yeah. They've got the top toys, including Paw Patrol Lookout Tower, mm -hmm. the Beast Lab Shark Beast Creator, mm -hmm. and something that might be cute for you, oh a little God. mini Mary wannabe. Yes. And that is a Make It Mini Kitchen. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Now, I feel like you got something else in that stocking. Yeah. It's feeling a little heavy still. Yeah. That one person in our lives, we don't know what to get. Mm -hmm. So this year, send them on a shopping spree at the mall. Yeah! You're all getting a $75 Cadillac Fairview gift card. So visit your local, local shopping center this season and make some beautiful holiday memories. Jess, huh? I feel like this is a holiday memory I'm gonna remember. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna remember 
you? Oh my gosh. Well, if you'd like a chance to win these great prizes, just go to thegoodstuff.ca and enter our online contest. And be sure to follow us on our social media platforms for bonus entries. Know what I do with people who I like to share memories with? <gasps> share go on. Sh share shrimps. Oh, I was hoping you'd so say let's that. do this. We gotta take a quick break. Yeah, We're gonna yeah. eat some shrimps. Oh, we'll be right God. back. Bye. Bye. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.